so many stops tonight, but let's get to it, everyone, shall we? Governor Godwin Obaseki has officially joined the People's Democratic Party PDP in a dose state. The governor dumped the All Progressives Congress APC earlier this week, picked up his PDP membership card at a party secretariat in Benin City, the capital. Today, Governor Basaki's decision to join the PDP has finally put paid to the suspense regarding which party he would move to following his resignation from the APC. Take a listen to some of what he said after picking up that membership card. <laughs> to inform you that upon my resignation from the All Progressive Congress, I have now decided, having consulted very widely within the states and across the country, to become a member of PDP. So then, you heard him there. If you look at here, there's another piece of information that I would like to give you. Today, this evening, Governor Gordon Obaseki has gotten the waiver himself and the deputy to run on the platform of the People's Democratic Party. But yet, there's another piece of information that I'm going to get, give to you. Following that, uh, the defection from the APC by the governor, there is a mass defection which continues in Edosid following Governor Godwin Obaseki's movement from the APC to the PDP. But the chairman of Ward 10, APC Esako West, local government area, Mr. Stephen Oshawo, insists that he will not leave the party. Mr. Oshawo confirmed this, uh, said that he, the executive of the APC members of the ward, which had suspended APC national chairman, Adam Soshomele, remained intact. Contrary to news going around, around of uh, purported defection to the PDP. Take a listen to him. I, Stephen Oshawo, the water chairman, I'm here with my total executive. We were inaugurated by year 2018. We are here to declare to the state and the whole nation that we are still in APC as an authentic water executive. That is why we want the whole people to hear today to know we did not decap to any party. We are still in APC as a member of APC Grand Loot Executive, member of War 10, Isako West. Thank you. So what does this mean? Because uh, we've been discussing this and a lawyer on the program has said that if those who, are, who suspended Mr. Oshomale, who are from his word, could retrieve it or reabsorb him back to the party, with the hope that they, probably they are going to leave. This man said they are not leaving. It's part of the conversation tonight. But this is another piece of information that is important to our conversation tonight. So in Port Harcourt today, the court has restrained Mr. Victor Giadam from parading himself as APC national chairman. The River said that I called granted an order restraining Mr. Giadam as parading himself as a national chairman, Justice Florence Fibrasima granted the order following a motion which claims that Gadam was not qualified to be deputy national secretary of the APC after he resigned in 2018 to contest the position of the deputy governor of River State in the 2019 general election. That is another intrigue, isn't it? Let's get the conversation started, everyone. I have joining me from our Abuja studio, a chieftain and a member of the APC in Edo State, Mr. Victor Oshoke. He's uh, an ally uh, to uh, Mr. Adams Oshomele. Thank you so much, Mr. Oshoke, for joining us tonight. And from Benin City, is the special advisor to Governor Godwin Obaseki on public affairs, Mr. Adaze Emwanta. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming tonight on the program. First and foremost, let, let me begin with you, uh, Mr. Oshoke. What does this mean for your principal when the world chairman 
who says he insisting that they are not, is the one who sat on the suspension of Mr. Oshamala, and he says they are not leaving the APC. What, what does that mean for your principal? Uh, good evening, Shew. First of all, I want to correct an impression. Mr. Oshawu is not a member of APC. He is neither a member of Water APC, nor is he an executive member. Remember, he was suspended even before the purported suspension of Adam Sushimoli. He was removed as chairman of Water. I'm from Water, incidentally. Oshawo is not a member of APC Water. He is in PDP, but he's being used by Filishaibu and Godwin Baseki for just the purpose he's coming on television today. Can I ask a question? Why is it that it is only Water, it's a West local government chairman? purported chairman that is coming on TV to say he has not moved with Obaseki. Why have all the other 192 ch world chairmen, if truly is a world chairman, why have they not all come on TV to say they have either moved or not moved Obaseki? It shows the world what Obaseki is doing. He is using Oshawo for a purpose. And Oshawo is not a member of APC, nor is he a member of or an executive member. The world 10 executives are intact. I know them. The name of the chairman of Water APC is Ekpeogwa. Kennedy Ekpeogwa. It's not uh, Oshawo. So Oshawo but Mr. Oshoke, is Mr. Oshoke, Oshoke if, the if, if the, court, the court is relying on what Mr. Oshawo has done by suspending Mr. Oshamale in all of these things, this is what has led the court to the appeal court and uh, uh, the appeal court has affirmed Mr. Oshamale's suspension. And you said that he's not uh, a chairman. If he were chairman at any time, it is not a permanent position. He has been removed. He cannot. Who is that? Why are his other members? Why are his executives? He didn't mention them. He's not a chairman. He's not the chairman of Water APC. I insist. I'm a member. I'm a chieftain of the APC. I come from that world. The world is in Apana. The world headquarters is my village, Apana. Can Oshawa go to the world uh, uh, office? He cannot go there. He's not the watcher, but I all go right. to the world let, office. Let, let's hear man. from... Who is Kennedy Ekpeogwa? All right. It's Mr. Mwanta, let's hear from me, sir, because you raised an allegation that is being used by uh, the governor. Uh, let's hear from uh, Mr. Mwanta uh, to react to what you've just said. Yeah. Thank you, Shun. It's quite unfortunate that uh, at this stage, they still point accusing fingers at the governor and his deputy, who are now PDP members. It shows how disorganized Oshomole made APC to be. Oshoke, who is a domestic staff of Oshomole, appears not to even understand the realities on ground. The Court of Appeal, it was on the strength of that suspension that the Court of Appeal declared that Oshomole is not just a member of the party, but he cannot continue as national chairman and all his privileges withdrawn. So he's still living in the past. You know, the problem created by Oshomole made the APC to lose eight states. And unfortunately, Edo State was already in line, but the governor had to leave because there were people prevailing the governor to leave the APC because the funny part of it, you disqualify a sitting governor. I mean, that was the height of impunity. So it was on the stretch of that the governor had to leave the party because it was clear someone had a script. And until these issues are resolved, APC will continue to have this kind of crisis and more states will go down. I, 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 I wonder how old they will be. It's quite unfortunate that All one right. man has created a crisis that has dropped the winning chances of APC in future elections. All right. Let's take a breather. But when we come back, we look at this man behind me, Governor Godwin Obaseki, his decision to go to the PDP, what it means for him, because the PDP governorship primaries is on, Saturday, uh, is on Tuesday. Can he get it? Can he clinch it? And alongside those who are gunning for that ticket, we did dissect that with my partner tonight and the governorship election in Ego State. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll go right I am here this afternoon to inform you that upon my resignation from the All Progressive Congress, I have now decided, having consulted very widely within the states and across the country, 
Where's the watch? Become a member of PDP. Yeah. Has demonstrated and has shown that it is a party that is rooted in democratic practices. A party that believes in justice and fairness. A party that respects its members. Yes, so more. Today. It's not a day I will make the speech. You will hear from me soon. Today, I'm here to go through the formalities of registering as a member of this great party. I know that upon taking up membership of this party, I automatically become the leader yes, of this party. Yes. Yes. That is the constitution. Yes. I read it thoroughly last night. And I want to assure all of you that I am prepared to provide leadership. I am prepared to provide leadership that will lead this party to victory. Thank you so much everyone for staying with us let's get back to the conversation and look at the implication of what decision the governor is taking his chances in the pdp and what he has left behind in the apc going forward ahead of the governorship election in that said my panel tonight mr victor Oshoke, a member of uh, apc in a state and mr uh, adaze mwanta is a, a special advisor to governor uh Abaseki on public affairs. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Let me quickly go back to our Abuja studio with uh, Mr. Oshoke. Mr. Oshoke, uh, it's a big loss for your party, is it? Uh, the uh, defection of Governor Obaseki, your party has lost another, the only governor in the South-South. Does this dim the chances of your party ahead of the governorship election in Edo State? Yeah, uh, first of all, I want to make an observation. You could see the crowd in that declaration. First of all, Godwin Obaseki has just, there was no maintenance of social distancing in that crowd. And Godwin Obaseki had just broken the same laws he put in the news that there should be no gathering, more than 20 people. The people there were more than 200 surrounding him. And this is the same man that has said that there should be no gathering, more than 20 people in the state. I expect that after doing this, Godwin Obaseki will not disturb the APC primaries on Monday. Because if he does, it means that there is a different law for Godobaseki and a different law for Edo people. That said, I believe that Godobaseki today moving to PDP is an anticlimax. He has since moved from APC. He has only been working against APC, and I think it is just good riddance to bad rubbish. Godobaseki has since left APC. Uh, APC and we, this is what we have been saying for months. He has been negotiating with PDP. Everything was set. He was only there trying to destroy APC. And today that he has gone, APC in the Do State is united and victory is ahead. There is no way Godobasi can upset APC in the Do State because it just doesn't have the numbers. He is unpopular in the Do State. They know. And that is why today he is there. And I can tell you something. Where is the APC big wig you, you saw behind him? There was nobody. Just some little PDP reference. There was no body of value with Obaseki there today. Even the Speaker of the Industrial Assembly has abandoned him already. He said he's not going with him. The top, okay, the, the, let, uh, let, the let, let's allow, let's allow Mr. Mwanta, Mwanta to react to what he has said. Uh, hold on, Mr. Oshoke. Mr. Mwanta, how do you react to what Mr. Oshoke has said? Um, he's saying that uh, uh, the movement of Governor Basaki to PDP is of no consequence, is it? You know, nothing can be further from the truth. This is the same governor that made the party in the last election to win the 21st seat in the House of Assembly, which, of course, made Oshomole to now decide to keep 12 of them in his Abuja residence. You know, Oshoke, being the domestic staff of uh, Adat Oshomole, speak with so much venom. He's a microcosm of his master, so we don't expect him to think less. And unfortunately, he wants the government to come with crowds, but at the same time, he's 
complaining that you have 200 persons. Nothing could be further from the truth. You saw the issue of social distancing there. You saw the governor with his face mask. And of course, it was a declaration. The journalists were there. You don't expect the governor to come with the speaker and members of the House of Assembly when there's a gazette against a specific number of persons gathering together. And the deputy governor, of course, has gone to its circle to do his declaration. All the local government chairmen were advised by the governor to do whatever they are doing at their local levels. Section 40 of the Constitution talks about freedom of association. The governor cannot compel anybody to leave the APC. Of course, you heard what 10 chairman, Mr. Oshawa, say that he wants to remain in the APC. So the governor represents a movement, a movement of Edo for Edo people. Mr. Amwanda, Mr. Amwanda, Mr. Mr. Oshoke raised a point. He said that the governor does not have the numbers, that the people of Edo State are not behind him. Is that true? Nothing can be further from the truth. Oshoke is just expressing his frustration because if the governor is not popular, how come under his leadership the party won 24 seats in the House of Assembly? It's not clear that Edo people want the governor back, and that is why they decided he should leave the APC because the APC is a sinking ship in Edo. Obviously, you have two factions at the national level. At the state level, they have been fighting the governor, distracting him. All the sectors have been touched by the governor. You talk of Edo Best, you talk of San Bermuda Stadium, where we'll be hosting the sports festival in October. That's an international standard facility. We have our state power plants, which of course will supply public buildings. We have all the sectors transformed by this governor. Job creation, security, health, you see our COVID-19 response. And importantly, he has a social contract with the Doe people. And that is why they want him back. All right, from Mr. Oshoke, Mr. Oshoke, Mr. Oshoke let, let, let's get your view on this one. It's gonna be a very critical one. Uh, should Mr. Obaseki get the ticket of the PDP? Would that be a game changer, especially if he, he knows the internal workings of your party? Has that endangered the chances of your party, APC? Not at all. Not at all. Obaseki cannot be a game changer in the do politics. Obaseki does not have the numbers. When he was, when he... He failed the screening of APC. Nothing happened. People were celebrating. He does not have the numbers. It is clear. He knows himself that he does not have the numbers, and that is why you can see he left the party. And you will see who will live with him. At the end of the day, just give a week. You will know how many people will go to Obaseki. The caliber of people that will go, go, go to Obaseki will tell you what if his living will have effect on APC. But I can assure you about one thing. Obaseki does not have the numbers. The people of Edo State are APC. They are solidly behind APC. And they are not going to follow Ogodo Obaseki because he plays bad politics. He is very, he is very naive politically, as he has shown. He has come out to say before that he know, we will not leave APC for anybody. And today he's leaving APC. He, has, he goes against all that he has said. He's hypocritical, and all the people know. So I don't, do not see Obaseki affecting the chances right. of APC in right. state. So, uh, so let, let, let's close the program now. Mr. Mwanta, if in, in 10 seconds you can give us your view, uh, Mr. Obaseki, if he gets the ticket, will be running against someone who lifted his arm up uh, in the last election, uh, Adam Soshomale. Isn't that going to be a very dangerous politics to play? No, it's unfortunate because even as we speak, we don't know who the candidate will be. We don't even know the mold APC will adopt in their primaries, but we wish them lucky they will have a candidate. But the other people have a clear social contract. And the man with that mandate is Gordon Novaseki. Of course, he's already coasting to getting the PDP ticket. And on that platform, he will be re-elected for another term of four years to continue his de developmental strikes. All right. And of course, we need, this we need to, we need to close now. Uh, we need to leave it at that. <laughs> Mr. Adazia Mwanta, uh, Special Advisor to Governor Obaseki on Public Affairs, thank you so much for talking to us tonight from Benin City. And Mr. Victor Oshoke uh, is uh, a member of the APC in Edo State. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your thoughts and your perspective that you shared tonight with us. So stay with us here in Channels Television. We will be giving you all the political parties, primaries, and the activities ahead of that crucial election in Edo State. Things are heated up, and we're here, the nation's news leader, to give you all the details. It's bye for now, everyone.